Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today I'm going to be talking about an awesome free animation resource with a gigantic butt. First the resource, then we'll get back to that butt. The resource is from Bandai Namco, uh, everybody's favorite Japanese game developer, uh-huh. Well, did you know they have Bando Namkai Research? If you head on over to their website and you switch over into the Japanese version, which by the way, I cannot speak or read, and do a translate on it, you will notice they have a free release of 3D motion data sets for AI research and development. Now that second part is the butt in question. These are under a license that kind of makes it so you cannot use these commercially. But if you're looking at getting some motion data for research purposes, for learning, for just trialing your game, etc., could be a useful project for you. So let's go check it out. Everything is available up on GitHub. This is a gigantic repository of motion capture data. Uh, it's all in BVH format, a very common, well-supported format. So you can use these in Max Maya. Um, Blender, most game engines, etc. And what they are, the whole idea behind this is for uh, doing artificial intelligence research, things in motion style transfer. The closest thing I can think of if you're a regular this channel is like the AI machine learning in Cascadeur. This is the data set you could use to train it. But what you can also look at this as a huge collection of motion capture data that you can use non-commercially. We'll get back to the licensing in just a bit. There's also a very cool plugin uh, for Blender that was released under a different license, which allows you to actually render out your, your motion capture data into these really handy grids. So this pack is released into two collections. There is this data set and this data set. We'll look at the details of both of those. First, I'm going to go ahead and start getting this, clone this one down. No problem. Just come on in here, grab the repository link like so, open up a command line like this, and do a git clone and paste into the, obviously into the directory where you want this to be, which in my case is, of course, temp, because everything goes into temp. I'll let that run for a while. It's a pretty big collection, but it shouldn't take too long. Uh, so let's look at collection number one here. So the first re release is a number of um, motion capture sets and then some like JSON data to tell you like the ID and the style to go with it. Um, so you've got 175 files, 3, 30, sorry, 36,000 frames of animation in 15 styles um, at 30 frames per second. We're talking walk, run, dash, walk back, walk right, walk left, bow, bye, goodbye, bye bye. What is the difference between bye and bye bye? I don't know. Uh, respond, call, kick, slash, and dance. And a lot of these are in. Um, of a variety of different styles here. So you can see here, uh, normal, happy, sad, angry, proud, not confident, masculine, feminine, ch child, old, tired, active, musical, giant, and chimpera. Don't know. Do not know. Uh, but also, all the visualizations are available in videos.zip as part of the repository. So here you can see the motion capture streamed out. And by the way, again, the thing to create these motion images is available as a Blender plugin, which is kind of cool. So if you've got a bunch of motion capture data, that plugin alone could be kind of useful. So you see here a walk animation in the normal style, a masculine style. I think so. Apparently, masculine means swaggering asshole. Uh, feminine, childish, old, active, tired, angry, happy sad, proud, not confident, musical, giant, and then chimpera. What is chimpera? Apparently it's constipated. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so here you also got uh, the run animations. Is it, is it literally like gorilla? I, 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 anyways, uh, dash, walking backwards, walking left, walking right, bowing, bye, good, uh, guiding, Bye bye again. <laughs> I, I guess it's just a more invigorating bye. Uh, respond, call, punch, kick, slash, dance, long, dance, short. Now you'll notice these ones don't have the multiple different styles. Just one of those things to be aware of. All right, so that is the first collection. The second collection here is walk, walk left, walk right, run, uh, so on and so forth. In uh, a few less styles. This one, I guess, was more focused on hand actions, uh, but there is a ton of frames in this one. We're talking th almost 400,000 frames of animation in this collection. And again, you can see a previews of all of these things in action. So that is the collection. We cloned it all down. Both of, the, the, both of them are available in the same repository. Uh, so they're just in separate folders. I'll show you that in just a second. Also, as I mentioned earlier on, there is this motion visualization plugin and there's instructions on how to install it uh, and render out your motion data into these animated frames uh, available in this as well. That's also part of the cloned repository. So now we got it here. It should be down. I'm just gonna switch into the Bandai folder like so. Uh, CD, Bandai Namco, and there you go. So you're gonna have the data sets, the readme's there, um, the the document, the uh, plugin, all that information is available there in that utilities directory. We're gonna switch into the data set folder like so, and let's open this up in Windows Explorer. 
So here you can see you've got the two different uh, data sets. We're, we're going to deal mostly with the first data set. Come in, check out the data for it. You're going to see here you've got, uh, let me just zoom that out so you can see this way. Uh, you've got the BVH file and then a kind of a corresponding JSON file to go. The, the JSON file has almost nothing in it. it it's just this, um, so the style of the animation and the, the ID of it. It's really not much to those JSON files. Um, and if you want to go ahead and learn and use these things, pretty simple. So for example, we're going to open up in Blender. Um, I have to de sacrifice at least one default cube every time I use Blender. So bye-bye default cube. I'm going to go to File. We'll go to import, and you're going to see out of the box, BVH is one of the options, so motion capture right here. I think BVH was BioVision. Uh, so now you can go ahead and navigate to where the folder is. So, for example, temp, Bandai Namco, data set, pick one, like so, data, and then go ahead. You're going to notice, again, all of these things are available in a variety of different uh, styles for the most part. Again, some of them are, some of them aren't. So we're going to do uh, walking... Um, left happy all right there we go so go ahead and import that one in and then you're going to notice right away is this is gigantic in blender when you do your import go to file import again uh, motion capture click this little gear over here and you got the option of scaling it down so you're going to probably want to set this to uh, 0 0.01 not a big deal i'm just going to zoom out instead so here we are and i zoomed out a little too far there you go so there is our thing, our, our frames of animation here. You're going to notice there's always this one giant bone that's sort of your, your base bone that's always at the origin. Uh, if you don't like it, it's not a big deal. Just switch over to edit mode, select that particular bone, and then S0.01, scale it down to really small, tiny size. It doesn't really make a difference. It's just a visual artifact. Um, so then again, we're back here. Go ahead and render it. And there is our, I think this was like happy walk. And there you see it in action. And by the way, if I actually select it, you can see all of the keys that go together to create it. So there's a ton of keys of motion capture data. And yeah, that's kind of it. 150 frames of animation. Let's go ahead and see the end of that. There we go. All right, so let's grab one of the other sets in here. Let's go back to the very beginning. File, import, motion capture. And let's grab the kick one because there's only the one style of kick here. So kick, normal, okay. So this one, there aren't a variety of different styles. And it's actually, because this was a walk left, I think it is. This is center aligned. And go ahead and check that out. So again, you do have that giant anchor bone. You, you can scale it. Again, go into edit mode, grab it, scale it down. If you just don't want to look at it, easy enough. All right, so back here, object mode, go ahead and play. So there you see our two different sets of animations. Uh, this kick actually has two kicks in it for some reason, kind of a reset. And then a kick again, and done. So uh, it's a huge collection of motion capture data, again, with a gigantic butt. So let's talk about that butt again for just a moment. So uh, if you head on back to the root of the repository, which will be linked in the linked article down below, uh, you're going to find the licenses that are available right there. The name kind of says it all. By the way, that, that Blender plugin is under MIT license, so you can use it however you wish for the most part. But this one is an attribution. So if you use it, you have to give them attribution. Non-commercial, so you can't make money off of it. No derivatives, which means you can't uh, create your own animations out of this and then you know redeploy or distribute or whatever them there. License. So this is open source. You can use these in just about whatever way you want. Uh, just give attribution if you do so and uh, non-commercially. So you can use these to prototype a game. Uh, you can use these. The idea behind them is for open AI development. Now, I don't know where it gets kind of interesting to me. I am not a lawyer, but if I had a product such as Cascadour, which I talked about earlier on, which you may or may not be aware of. I've done a couple of videos on this in the past. It basically uses machine learning to fill in the blanks between animations. It's exactly the kind of thing like this data set would be invaluable to Cascadour. So it's got the power of machine learning here to help you with your animation. So it's here you can see it's like, oh, oh, I need my hand to be down and flat. So it'll kind of do the work for you. It, it helps you in the rigging because it can recognize what you're trying to do with your pose. If you are creating a commercial project like Cascadour and you use these, um, these resources under this license, uh, are, are you going to be in violation? And I think the answer would probably be yes. I don't think you can even use it. If you're using a commercial AI project, you probably want to steer free from these. But if you're using, if you're working on an open source project or you just want some motion capture data for, uh, you know, prototyping, learning, experimenting, playing around, whatever, 
uh, these definitely are useful to you. So do be aware of the license limitations, but it's a great little project. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know what you think of uh, Bandai Namco in general. I know they don't have the most... Uh, uh, positive reputation as of late. They've done a lot of kind of scummy things in the last few years. Uh, but hey, they make Gundam and I'll always love them for that. So let me know what you think of this release and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.